Does your stream need healing? You come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I'm your content cleric. And today I wanna to make a little bit of a different video, okay? I wanna show you how I use Canva in D&D. &D. Something you may not know about me is I love Dungeons and Dragons. I love to play the game. I love to DM for the game. I love to prepare and write and come up with all kinds of cool homebrew and house rules. It's just, it's, it's my inner, it's my inner nerd them that I just, I love so much. And so if you guys like D&D, &D, I actually do on Fridays, I do a prep and I do a game. And if you would like to play, I'm actually going to be running a West Marches campaign where the party actually, uh, it will actually change every single week based on whoever wants in. And so if you can't commit to a full on Dungeons Dragons game, but you'd like to play, you know, uh, every once in a while, well, we're going to have that going as well. So make sure you follow me over on Twitch. I'll have that link down below. And also make sure um, that you are subbed to this channel so that you catch all this content. Uh, and I'll have like Discord and everything down below as well. But Real quick, I want to show you a how I use Canva as a dungeon master in Dungeons and Dragons. So this is not for all streamers, but anyone that is a DM that loves Dungeons and Dragons, you may find this interesting. This is really kind of a more of a show and tell than a tutorial, but I'll show you how I, I did a lot of the things that I've done here uh, and to create what I've created. All right, let's just let's just let's get over. Let's let's get to it. But before we do, Quick word from our sponsors. Let's go. Today's video is sponsored by Own.Pro, the subscription service from the legends at Own.TV. For just $12.99 or less a month, you get unlimited access to over 400 premium overlays and alerts. After a quick install of the Own.Pro software, you'll be able to change the entire look of your stream with the click of a button. Use my affiliate link down below to support the channel and check out all that Own.Pro has to offer. Okay, so if you want to create something similar to this, um, and, or actually, if you just want to use mine as a template, like so uh, once I show this off and you just want to use mine as a template, then you can actually go down below. I'm going to have this as a Canva template available for you to click and download, change whatever you want, keep whatever you want. Uh, it will be available on my Patreon and I'll have that linked down below. But OK, first thing, I have a DM screen generic. Um, and I will update this for different campaigns because obviously different campaigns are gonna need uh, different sets of information. So you can see this one is gonna have my world info. Uh, it's gonna have town info, campaign specific, session specific, uh, things like that. Speaking of which, if you're one of my players, you can watch the first three quarters of the video. But when I get over here and start showing off campaign specific or session specific, please leave, okay? Uh, or at least just don't read what's on the screen. I don't really plan on going over it, but you know, just just don't. So what I was looking for after I've been running at a lot of games online, um, I don't, if I put my DM screen up here in front of me, it's very like in the way, it blocks my monitor, it's hard to get my keyboard, move my mouse around. And so I was like, I really want a digital DM screen. And so, I mean, actually I use this on my iPad that I keep kind of sitting right here beside me while I'm, while I, cause I only have two monitors. Eventually I'll have three and I'll have my DM screen on one of them. But what I wanted, a, a few things is, I wanted a, a good section of general rules, right? Um, and, and general rules and just quick things I'm gonna need uh, that I just need to go and see. Uh, so if I need to know a specific condition, I need to know, uh, you know exactly what frightened means, what actually happens when one of my characters is frightened uh, or restrained or stunned. Like I, right here, it's all just, I, I click it and go. Um, but also wanted to be able to see different sections um, just from looking here. And so I have 20 different slides. I, I needed a way to divide it up so I know what is what. Uh, and so I have this section for general rules. Now, this I did not make. This is an image. Um, I'm pretty sure I found it on Pinterest. If you're into D&D, Pinterest is, is, hold on, hold, hold, just hold on, hold on. Okay, Pinterest. Uh, DM screen printable. Look, look at all this, look at all this. Pinterest is so good for this, okay? Um, just quick stuff like this. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I got almost all of this on Pinterest. This is the first uh, general rule. Uh, second general, I really like this one because it had uh, it had the armor, um, it had the AC, right? Um, and then it has all this stuff, it also had prices. Prices are so hard for me because they'll go somewhere and I'm like, yeah, uh, you know, this, this person has this thing and they're like, how much? And I'm like, oh, I didn't prep that, where's the money? And, and so this gives me a quick little reference. Um, also some melee weapons, range tells me what the damage of those are, uh, just things that I can have at a quick reference. Also this donning and doffing armor. So my character doesn't have on, my paladin doesn't have on his heavy armor, 
uh, and the fight happens, sorry, bud, you're probably not getting that armor on, right? Uh, good little bits of information that, you know, you might not have had before. Uh, yeah, so, so again, this is all just general information. Um, and this one I, I saved specifically for something. Oh, I think I saved it specifically for the food, just as a reference. And my cats are going nuts now. But I like, I really like this one, had the currency conversions here. Uh, has some traveling speed information, which is really good. Um, and then it actually had the price for potions. And this is one of them that I really liked. It, not only price for potions, but also what an actual healing potion is. 2d4 plus 2 or greater healing 40. I just, I always forget that stuff. Uh, basic prices for food, just again, another great one. Then, of course, I have random tables. Every DM has to have random tables. Also, these images, I searched D&D &D wallpapers, found some dark ones, and threw them on there with a nice bold font just so I could see it down here uh, and I could click to where I needed to go. So, random tables. Um, these right here by Lady Tiefling, I love these. Again, these are on, on Pinterest. Just search, I loot, and, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna come up. Yeah, I loot the adventure, red dragon, skeleton, cultist, whatever. I love these. These are just unique little different things than you would probably think. Every time, uh, every time you know your characters loot a, a skeleton, you're like, oh, you find a finger bone and like two gold. Yay, okay. Uh, but this one's like, no, you found you find a scarred mouse. Seems like it's been trapped in its rib cage, right? I mean, just like weird things like that, little fun things. So I got the these few I loot. Um, and I can obviously add in and remove whatever I need or don't need. Um, here I have some basic NPC information. So right here I have a name generator, which is really cool. You can sit here and roll a d20. So let's let's do it. Let's roll a d20. I have some dice beside me. All right, d20. First is 12. 12, la. Middle is 2. La chat, la ked. La ked, 18. La caddis. So right there, quick name, la caddis. Uh, and I, you know, it's a D&D name. It makes sense. Uh, some other basic information, some basic uh, NPC creator or characteristics. Again, I can roll my D20 as they go into the tavern in the town. I hadn't prepared for them to go to. I roll a 19 and they go in and meet him and he uses colorful oaths and exclamations. And he, uh, you know, like you can go in and just have these little random tables available. Uh, again, names for, just more names. Names are halflings, dragonborns, elves, gnomes. Uh, anything I want, I have names, and then just a hundred unique names, and I have room to add more names if I need to. We, can we have enough names, DMs? Can we have enough names? Uh, and then these are meals, so if my characters go in to a tavern, I don't just have to say, oh, they have lentils and ale. Um, I, no, they have, they, they have, they have a turkey leg and, and, and barley gravy, is that barley? Barley gravy soup. Like, I mean, you can, you can get a little more creative, make it feel a little more realistic. Uh, and this one is just low level encounters, right? So uh, say they're running around and at this point, surely they're gonna fight with something. I roll my d20, uh, it's a 15. So they're gonna fight one d4 uh, swarm of bats. Uh, yeah, anyway, then I roll my d4 and I have it there. Random tables, you know what random tables are. They're fantastic. Again, Pinterest is my go-to um, and a couple of Patreons that I have joined. Uh, okay, so then world info, I'm gonna fill this out. I don't have it fully filled out right now, but world info, I have my world map, which is also not completely done. Maradonia is my own custom world. Uh, still in progress, built it in an incarnate. I'm not great with incarnate yet, but I'm learning. Uh, town info, and so uh, this is the town that my characters are in right now. They're in Meadows Keep. It just has a map. I'm eventually gonna fill this out with town NPCs. Uh, so I have information and a photo reference, just something I can find online uh, for their looks and their interactions and things about them. So uh, campaign specific, and this is where my players should probably leave. Uh, there's not a lot of specifics in here, but you know, you probably still don't want to know this. Um, so campaign specific, and so um, yeah, these are just actually a couple magic items that may pop up at some point. Uh, this is actually a game uh, that I thought was a really cool idea, uh, and it's sort of like I, I imagine it as a. Um, you know, one of the machines you go at the store and you put like 75 cents in, you push it in and it comes out with like a tattoo or something. Sort of like that, but with magic items. Um, session specific, so this is just whatever's happening this week. I can click over here and have access to it. Um, and these are just actually a couple exploration encounters um, that I want to have available. I know in the coming up sessions, my characters are going to be traveling. And I like to make my traveling more than you walk through the woods. Nothing happens. 
you walk further through the woods. So what I want to do is um, have a few things like as you're walking through the woods, you notice a path that goes off to your right and through the tree, you notice that the bushes have been kind of pushed back. Um, but the path that you're on continues straight ahead. And so they have the option. They can go down the path away from their main objective and it may lead them to a whole other encounter, but also more loot and more cool things to find and see and fight. Um, and, and so like as they roll perception checks and stuff like that, I'll have these different exploration encounters that are potentially there if my players decide to go that route. Um, but you know, maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know I, if they don't use them. The thing about the thing about when you create things or, or or borrow things, which by the way, guys, instant encounters on Patreon, mm, these are these are phenomenal. Honestly, like these are probably when I run my West Marches campaign, we're probably just gonna be running a bunch of these because these these little these little. Uh, I mean, it's one a one page adventure, and it's just it's so good, so good. Anyway, um, I love to have all this stuff ready. I, as you might be able to tell, I love D and D. And so if you do, make sure you come over to the stream right now. If if you're watching in, in February 2022, uh, we are running a, a campaign Friday nights, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Central Time. Uh, but if you're interested, let me know in the comments down below and I will upload uh, the sessions here. Uh, I'll upload them here on, on, on YouTube and uh, I'll create a, a playlist or something for them if you'd rather see them here. But we're also doing them live and Friday day, this is what I, this is what's really cool and I love, is, is Friday day, I do all of my prep for that night's session live on stream from 3 to 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, and that's where I'm doing all my prep. And, and anyone who comes in and subs to the channel gets to name an NPC and give them a quirk. Uh, and they will come up at some point in the campaign. And so just a few little fun things like that. So make sure you guys come over, especially on Friday, especially if you're into D&D. Uh, I do realize this isn't my normal main channel content, and I promise we're not turning into a D&D channel. Um, unless, no, well, no, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, mate. No, 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 we're not gonna do that. Uh, but, in, you know, I wouldn't mind doing more D&D content and showing how I make things and come up with things, but that's probably more for me. d and is just a passion of my own. Uh, we will continue the, the normal uh, streamer designs and stuff like that. I'm actually working on a, on a, on a full uh, multi-video series right now. Uh, but I just wanted to show that off. I thought it was really cool and a neat way to do a digital DM screen. And I hope it's helpful. If it is helpful and you make your own, do me a favor uh, and let me know down in the comments. I'd actually love to see what you guys have in yours and if there's anything I can add to mine. Because, you know, your DM screen can always have more stuff, especially when it's digital. Of course, that's how you lose everything, but that's fine. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're putting out videos, uh, not really like this, but more like more uh, streamer designs and stuff like that in Canva. We're putting those out every single week, and I hope that they've been valuable to you. And I really do appreciate you, and I hope to see you in stream soon. Make sure you follow me over on Twitch. I'll have it linked down below. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon, where you can also download my digital DM screen uh, and customize it to your liking. But anyway, guys, I really do appreciate you. Hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.